Hey all, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel. So apologies for any wobbling that you might see. Um, this is the table that I usually film on and um, I am instead filming on my desk chair, which is wobbly because the bottom part is mesh. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to have festivity in my office for the season. So this is what you get. Let me just bring it down a little bit. Let's try this. Go edit that out. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to the Dollar Tree a couple of times last week and I didn't have a chance to film any of it. And so instead, you get it now. Now, I'm gonna start this off by saying we got a little bit of a giveaway today. Ain't nothing like a little bit of a giveaway. So, I have redone my decor and I have woodland critters and gnomes in my decor. In the process of that, I, uh, I have adopted far too many gnomes this season. So, today's giveaway, so I'm gonna post this up. This is Wednesday, the, looking at my calendar, Wednesday the 9th, and so this, Giveaway is going to go into Sunday the 13th. So on Sunday the 13th, I will draw for a winner, just hashtag gnomes, get you some gnomes. So what you get, you're gonna get the gnome for the holidays dish towel set. And there's two of them here. You gonna get the gnome for the holidays pot holders, two of the oven mitts, the a gnome for the holidays mug and the adorable gnome for the holidays sign. So you do have to be a subscriber to the channel. You must like this uh, video. You have to be at least 18 years old. You got to live in the contingent United States. Sorry to the friends abroad and our friends to the North and South. Not that I have any viewers from any of those places, but if I did, sorry. So, hashtag gnomes, you have until the 13th to do that, and I will draw a winner, and I will ship you out some gnomes. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul for you today. First thing, I needed some wrapping paper, because I went and looked at the wrapping paper stash in the attic, and it is slim pickings. So, I was like, well, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. So, what did I get? Oh, also, my sister-in-law and mother-in-law have been sending presents for my child but they're just coming like in the amazon boxes so i have to wrap those as well so i needed more present more wrapping paper child's gonna get a lot of stuff this year let me tell you so we did have some uh disney princess wrapping paper i already hauled the frozen stuff like a while ago like the frozen wrapping paper that's gonna be from santa because she specifically asked that santa bring her frozen toys so she called the frozen toys Everything else will be in this wrapping paper. I got this pretty, pretty striped ribbon. So all of these here, so this princess one, uh, 20 square feet. This one is 30 square feet gift wrap. But also like this is all Hallmark brand, so I'm okay with that. Cause you know Hallmark brand hires you a lot more for this. This is also 30 square feet and it is just some woodland deer with scars in, in the snow. And then we've got some Santas with some elves and some trees and some deer, all that good stuff. And last but not least, this beautiful plaid, which I would have wrapped everything in the same color in this plaid, but I do have a small child who has asked me every day what Santa is doing right now. So he's just me making presents, girl, he's making presents. So I'm doing that. So I need to pick up some wrapping paper. I will hide that in the back bedroom. The frozen one is hidden in my closet here. All right, let's get into this haul in no particular order, clearly. So first up, y'all remember my elf, my precious little bless his heart elf? Well, he's has some friends. He, he has some precious friends. And I didn't think that, like, if I thought that he was special, his friends are special, too. So this is... I 
can't, I can't stop. So this is the snowman and his, his mouth is also in between his eyes and he's got, and all the hats were dented. Like every last hat was dented. Like they, and there ain't no bringing it back. Like these little felt hats are dented and he just, and his arms aren't quite the same. Like one's higher than the other and his mouth's eyes crooked, y'all. These are my very most favorite things that I've ever bought at the Dollar Tree. I bought a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree, and these are by far my favorite. But I didn't stop there, because I picked up two, because I, I couldn't bear the thought of not adopting both of them. And again, his hat's all crooked. He got, they have like teeth. No, that's not teeth, that's his tongue. So he's got his little tongue sticking out here. Why does snowman has a tongue? I don't know. But I got both of them. And then, there was the penguin. And his scarf don't, because he doesn't have a neck, so his scarf don't fit on his neck. And his tongue is also sticking out too. <laughs> I just, these are literally like my favorite things I've, I've ever gotten at the Dollar Tree. At least he looks a little better. Oh, that's why, because his mouth was crooked. Look, his mouth is all crooked. And like his beak goes into his eyeball. Bless. When I bought him, like, this is how his normal state is. Like, he, his scarf doesn't fit. And so it's just, like, he constantly pulling it down. Y'all, I can't with these. These are literally, like, my favorite things that I have ever. These are the best $4. Like, I've had $4 laughs between these two, three, and that elf. Let me tell you. These are my... Damn. I love those guys. All right. Moving on. I think I went with Morgan and we were hungry that day as I looked through the stash and we picked up this box of thin shortbread dark cream wafers, two packs. They come in this little two pack thing. These kind of look like, they remind me like this, the box looks, well not the box, but the picture on the box reminds me of like those Pepperidge Farm Milano cookies. We had a lot of those in college. Those mint Milanos. Mm. So when you open it up, they look like this. Um, not really like a mint Milano. Like it's like the same color consistency of it, right? But it's smaller. It's not bad though. That's pretty good. You should get these. You should get these if you find those. Mm. That's tasty. Thin shortbread dark chocolate wafer. This is a product of India. It is imported by Sobiesk Foods into Chad's Ford PA. And this does not expire until 12-31-2021. Get you some of these for this year and next year. <clears throat> I picked up a pack of these from Morgan because I used to love these things here. These um, circus animals. The cookies, the covered ones with the sprinkles on it. Girlfriend loves her some sprinkles, so I think she's gonna be a fan. And then I also picked up a bag of these Ritz Crisp and Thins. And I thought I got the regular flavor, which I prefer. And this is actually the sour cream and onion, but it's fine. It's fine. Somebody's gonna eat it. What else? Ooh, look at this. I've had this bag in the closet for a while. I found two more packs of the Lysol wipes, like legit Lysol wipes. I say none of that like off-brand Lysol wipes, but at this point, because you know Rona is spiking again, you need to get you some wipes to wipe down all everything. Wear your mask, wipe it down, right? So you get 15 in each of these, which is fine. It's fine, the same brand will get you. They also had these up front, which I have hauled before. This is the spray disinfectant. I got two of these in Country Rain, and I don't even know care what it smells like, Country Rain, but yeah. If it's gonna disinfect, we gonna do it. Rona's coming back, spiking back bigger than before. You gotta take care of yourself and wash your hands and do what you gotta do. If that means taking a bath in this stuff, that's all right too. Um, I think I hauled all these before, so I did pick up two of these. Um, this has the 99 cent store pricing on it. Um, 
And this is the Be Fierce, and it is a liquid eyeliner pen and a pencil, both in black. I just took the other one that I hauled and I put it in my bathroom this morning, so I haven't used it yet. We'll see. Then for Morgan, I picked up another one of these cold compresses. She has the one that's shaped like a ladybug, but Chad always says she needs a nice pack. Like, the little is bump. She's like, well, I need a nice pack. So we were ice packless the other day, and she's fine. Like, she didn't, like, actually, like, hurt herself. She's just... She's three, she's dramatic, it's fine. So we're gonna have a backup. So when there's one is in use, we got another one freezing. So I got that cookie cut in my teeth. It's tasty though. It's tasty. All right, what else do we got in here? This is not from the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Not Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree. The Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark Snowman, not Dollar Tree, but delicious. Uh, let's see, for Missy Morgan as well. I got her some of this foaming bubble bath. Is it great bubble bath? No. Does it make bubbles? Yes. Do you need a lot to get a little bubbles? Yes. It is also a dollar. It's fine. Um, and I also picked her up another one of these bath balls, the Sugar Sugar. These are out again. They're all over the place. And like, there's all different scents, like at the different stores. So if you like a bath ball, like get you some. These make great stocking stuffer. Put them all up. Put them in the stocking. Put them in the bathtub. It's nice. And let's see. Got a bag of cinnamon pine cones. I just finished doing all my decor yesterday. And I don't need pine cones right now. But perhaps I can scatter them artfully beneath my tree rustic critters whatnot it's it'll be great great all right moving on let's grab this other bag over here like i said this is in no particular order do this bag okay all right all right all right oh this is good this goes with the theme so far where i'm still at i also picked her up a thing of frozen shampoo and honestly, I wasn't going to use this for shampoo because I, she has naturally curly hair and it, she needs shampoo. Like she can't just use shampoo. Like girlfriend needs conditioner, like real conditioner. So I thought that she would like this just to use a soap. It says it is frosted berry scented as it is. She'll like that. She'll just be excited to see like Anna and Elsa in the bathtub. We don't have an Anna and Elsa theme Christmas, let me tell you. Santa, Grammy Santa, have uh, gone low overboard, let me just tell you. But it's, it's precious. She's three and a half. Like, she ain't never gonna be three and a half again. It's fine. Speaking of not organizing, oops, here's another bath bomb. This is Mermaid Life. This one is Honey and Pear. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up. I picked up five total and I already used three of these, but this is the glitter drape. You can see some of the Dollar Tree glitter drape right here around the bottom of my tree. I need to put some over here with my woodland critters and my gnome scenes. And then I needed some in the living room, I needed some in the dining room, but like, let me tell you, I bought out many packs of this glitter drape and it's gonna be just used one time and that is okay. We'll be fine. What else? Last of the Christmassy stuff. I picked up some extension cords, but then I got really concerned about buying extension cords from the Dollar Tree and what that would possibly mean to like a fire hazard in my house. The other thing that I forgot about the Dollar Tree is that their plugs do not have the little like three thingy in it. So if you have like a three pronged doodad to plug in, this ain't gonna work for you, which is good because then I went and bought a much more expensive one at uh, Home Depot, but Home Depot also had these ones with just the two prongs for like $1.25. So I feel a little better about it. All right, last couple of things. We got one, two things of Dawn dish soap. Why? Because Blue Dawn is the best Dawn. And now that I look at these, these don't look entirely full. So I don't know if they have leaked along the way or if Dawn's Dollar Tree Dawn is just uh, less robust than others. Not really certain, but we're gonna need those. We'll put those downstairs in the kitchen. 
Last and certainly not least, we have some AAA batteries because you need batteries in your life. And the final thing, express your health. I have some little cocktail party napkins. We're not going to use these for any parties or cocktails because, well, maybe cocktails, but not parties because Rona's back real bad. So instead, we're going to use these to put snacks on and it'll be delicious and festive. So that's it. That is all that I have for y'all right now. So do not forget to enter in my drawing for the, uh, for the gnomes. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, do hashtag gnomes right down at the bottom. And I will do the drawing on Sunday. So I hope y'all are doing great. I'll talk to y'all soon.